Module 8, Gasket Drawing. Today we're going to talk about analyzing 2D drawings. And we're going to take a look at this AutoCAD certification drawing of a gasket. The directions for drawing this gasket are to use the units command to set the decimal units in place. And then to set the number of units from 4 to 2. And then to draw the object. And when we draw this object, we begin by locating the center of the 6 by 3 inch rectangle at coordinates 6, 4.75. And the dimensions are right here on the object. Since we're into the semester quite a ways, I think most people will be able to draw this object. If I want to analyze and make sure that this drawing is at the correct location, I'll come in here and I'll check this 6 by 3 coordinate location at 6 comma 4.75. First off, I can do that by measuring the distance just to see what the size is. And I'm going to turn on my O-snap. And I'm going to go from here. So it's 6 inches by 3 inches. So we've used the utility command to analyze this drawing for the distance. We also want to know if this point is at the location specified, 6, 4.75. We will use the ID point under Utilities to ID this point. And points are known as nodes in the OSNAP world. So here we snap to that, and that is 6, 4.75. So the geometry is drawn correctly. And now we're going to go through and analyze the drawing. The total surface area of the gasket with the rectangle and all the holes removed is closest to. Now, I didn't do one last thing, which was to check my units. Units. So we are in decimal units. We are in two places of precision. So with that, it will round the answers to the closest aspect here. To calculate out the surface area, what we want to do is use the area command. And we want to convert all of these entities into a closed polyline or into a region. The fastest way is to just go and select the region command and place a box. and then hit enter and then if you hover you'll notice that that is now glowing the entire object it's all a region circles are already closed objects and then the rectangle is a region so now to calculate out the area we would go to measure area and then we click the down arrow and say add object and then we click the down arrow and say object and we select the outside perimeter we hit enter, we hit the down arrow, and we say subtract area, we hit the down arrow, object, and then we subtract out these other shapes. Just click on them one time, or it will double subtract it. And if you look at the command line, you'll see that the values here are updating as I subtract out the items from the total area. Okay, so the total area is closest to 21.54. So we can come over here and look at it. Correct answer would be E. So hit enter. If you want, you can hit the F2 key. Uh, apparently my numbers aren't working so I won't be able to do a let's try it one more time function F2 there we go if you want you can hit the F2 key and you can then pull in that information and it was 21.54 was was our calculated area right here and so I can control C click over here control V Bam. Okay, so that's one. And we, we, you could put a number one on this if you want. Double click on it so that you can edit it. One period. It's always something. There we go. 
Okay, second question. The distance from the center of arc A to the center of arc B is closest to. This is a distance command. Center of arc A would be right here. Center of arc B would be right here. So we will go and get the distance use an O snap center and center and so that value is 6.67 flip screen it doesn't give me that value so I'm just gonna come over here double click on this enter B equals 6.67 and the answer for that will be B. Fine. The length of the arc segment C is closest to. This would be the arc segment that they're talking about. Now since we turn this into a region we're going to have to deconstruct it to get it to be back to an arc. To do that we use explode. Explode, click on the arc, hit enter, and then you can click on that arc, and you can right click and go to properties, and then you can look up the arc length in the properties. And so, let's see here, total arc length, 3.53. The absolute coordinate value of the center of the 0.75 radius arc D is closest to. So it wants to know the absolute value at this point right here. And this happens a lot in the in the manufacturing world. They would oftentimes call me into the machine shop and say, hey Joe, I need you to look up this coordinate value. ID point. And then just gravitate to the center here click to, excuse me, 4.83, 2.5. So 4.83 seems to be pretty good. And the other value was, did I say 2.85? Let's try that again. Two point five. So it would be A. Continuing. The angle formed in the XY plane from the center of the 0.75 radius arc to the center of the 0.75 radius at arc A. When we work on these commands, we use the distance command and we follow the directions in the order they have given us. So when it asks for the angle formed in the XY plane from the center of the D to the A, we are looking at from D to A and we would use distance so we'd go distance from center here to center here distance hover center hover center the distance in the XY plane is 120 as you can see in the command line right here so the answer is C.
percent percent D and then you can actually make a real degree symbol. Those are known as control codes. The delta XY distance from the intersection at E to the midpoint of F is, again, this is going to be a distance command. And again, you need to calculate them in order. Intersection E to midpoint F. So intersection E would be this quadrant. And then midpoint of F would be midpoint. So we go the distance from the quadrant to the midpoint. And then we're looking at the delta xy. So the delta x is minus 4.5. The delta y is minus 375. So the answer is E. Because both the values are negative. And then the last question, use the scale command to reduce the size of the inner rectangle at midpoint F by 0.83 units. And then calculate out the area again. So they want us to mess up our nice drawing by scaling it 0.83 for this rectangle. So we would say scale. We'd select it. All you need is the rectangle from the midpoint. and then type in the scale factor, 0.83. Make everything into a region again, because we exploded it to calculate out one of the arcs. And then run the area command. Again, area, add area, object, click on the large shape, hit enter, down arrow, subtract area, down arrow, object, and take your time with it. You want to select them only one time. Okay, and so my total area is 27.14, or D. Okay. So this is what you'll turn in, save the file with the answers, and submit that to the Dropbox. And that completes this video.